All right, today we are gonna make a moody, foggy ocean scene in Blender. I'm gonna open up Blender and then get rid of the light and the cube and then get my camera set up. So first thing I'm gonna do is come over here to the render properties and change the render engine to cycles and the device to GPU because my GPU is much faster than my CPU. Um, the rest of these settings are okay for right now. Can always change these later when we're rendering. Um, and then, yep, everything looks good here. Next thing I want to do is get my camera set up. So I'm going to come up here to the corner of this window and click and drag, and that will create another window for us. And on the left side, I'm going to press zero to enter the camera view and then come back to this side, click on the camera and get my camera properties set up. And yeah, so I'm gonna recenter the camera on the X axis, change the rotation back to the center. I'm gonna bring the camera down a bit and rotate it up. Maybe move it back there. So. We can change with this later as well. So the next thing I want to do is add a plane and then head over to the modifiers tab and add an ocean modifier. So first thing in the resolution viewport, I'm going to change that to 24 and then under the render, I'm going to change and then the render I'm going to change to 48. Uh, the size I had set to about five. And then I set the spatial size to 27. Um, and then under the waves tab, I had the scale set to about 11.8. And now you can really start to see the texture of the waves. And uh, one more thing, I'm gonna change the choppiness to about 1.65. So now the ocean looks pretty good to me. I'm going to move the camera back a bit. And as I do that, I'm noticing that the edge of the ocean is clipping. So to fix that, I'm going to go into the camera settings and under clip start and clip end, I'm gonna change clip end to about 5,000. Why not, right? So now the camera is able to see a farther distance and the ocean is no longer clipping. All right, so next thing, I'm gonna change the focal length to 35. And I think I'm gonna rotate the ocean a bit to get a little more in the foreground. Okay, so now that we have the main setup of the scene, I'm going to add a light. point light and then I'm going to move this back a ways. So I'm going to try and put the light where I want to position the moon later on when we do our compositing. So I'm going to leave that right there and just make it a little brighter. And then I'm going to add some volume by adding a new mesh, a new cube, scale that up and then in order to see in there I'm going to change this to um, the wireframe <clears throat> so now we can see the cube and everything we have going on in the scene and then uh, I'm just going to pull this window up a bit and under the editor type I'm just going to change this to the shader editor and add a new shader to the cube I'm going to come down here and I'm going to get rid of the principled BSDF and add a principled volume. Now I'm going to connect the volume to volume and change the density. We'll start with uh, 0 0.01 and I'm going to change the color to sort of a bluish color because I, I want this scene to be like a moonlit, moody nighttime scene. 
And then in order to see what the scene looks like, I'm gonna change the viewport shading over to our render. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of these gizmos and tools. So now we can start to see what the scene is looking like. And it's definitely not lit up enough yet um, and looks a little strange. I'm gonna make this a bit brighter. Um, and now I'm going to add a shader to the ocean. So I'm going to click on the ocean. Uh, I'm going to add new material. And then uh, I'm going to get rid of the principal BSDF again and add, oh, that looks kind of cool. And then add a glass shader. So click glass and then connect glass to surface. And already it looks pretty good. So I'm just going to sort of Move this around, reposition some things here. Yeah, so it looks pretty good. So now I'm just trying to get this set, set up the way I want it. So now I'm just trying to rotate this and add some depth to this scene. Um, and one way we can do that is coming back to the camera. Um, I want to add some depth of field. So one easy way to do that, um, I like to add an empty. And this will be what the camera focuses on. And so I have the new empty here. It's just the plane axis. And um, I'm going to click on the camera again and come down here to depth of field. And now with this little dropper, I can click on the empty. And so if I bring the f-stop down, you can see there's much shallower depth of field happening here. So I'm going to leave this on 1.2. So if I want to change the focus now, I can click on the empty and move that closer to the camera and then the focus will shift wherever the empty goes. So if I want the focus to be on the closest waves, I move that closer to the camera. And then if I want the focus to be further away in the scene, I can move it further away. So I sort of want the focus to be uh, further away and I kind of want there to be a little more blurriness to the foreground. So we'll leave it on 0.4. I kind of want to shift the, the waves a little bit. So under time, you can drag this and it'll go through like an animation and you can keyframe this too and sort of like make animations out of it. But Right now I'm just sort of like shifting the waves around until I'm like happy with, with the look. Yeah, so that looks pretty cool. That sort of frames up where we're gonna put the moon, um, sort of like some leading lines down here in the center. So I dig that. All right, so before we render this scene out, I'm gonna come over to the world properties and change the background color to black instead of gray, which was the default. And so it, as you can see, it sort of adds a bit more contrast into the scene. Um, and then the other thing is this light was looking a little strange in my first render pass. So I'm gonna come down here to uh, the object properties and under visibility, I'm going to deselect glossy. So now it doesn't reflect as much off of the ocean, as you can see, um, had this like reflective glare and I didn't like that in the render. So I'm going to click that off. And I actually want to just make a few more adjustments to this. I'm just going to readjust the camera a bit. 
there. That looks pretty cool to me. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna render this out and uh, we'll move on to Photoshop. So I have the ocean render open in Photoshop and I also have a photograph that I took of the moon over a night sky. So what I'm gonna do is select all and copy the photograph of the moon and paste it on top of the ocean render. Now I'm gonna change the blending mode to screen. I'm gonna hit Command T and hold Option while I scale down the image of the moon and place the image of the moon directly over the light. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is make some adjustments to the moon. So I'm gonna add a curves layer and clip that layer to the moon layer so that the curves adjustments only affect the moon layer. So I'm just gonna pull down some of the brightness and try and add a little bit more contrast to the moon. And what I'm noticing is you can see the light from our render coming through the moon. So how I'm gonna deal with this is add a new layer above the render. I'm gonna use the dropper to select a nearby tone and just paint over the top of the light. So that way the light won't be as bright coming through the moon. So now I wanna make it look like the moon's glowing a bit more. So I'm going to duplicate the moon layer. Now I have two moon layers stacked. So the bottom moon layer, I'm going to add a Gaussian blur. That radius looks pretty good. And I'm gonna drop the opacity down a bit just to make it a little more of a subtle effect. Just make a few more adjustments to the brightness of the moon because I want those details to come out a bit more. And then one more thing, since the focal point is on this wave here, um, you can already see that the wave behind it is out of focus, but then the moon is still somewhat sharp. So that's pretty unrealistic when it comes to depth of field. So uh, what I'm gonna do is just select the moon layer and add some Gaussian blur. And then I'm just gonna slowly bring up the radius until it looks pretty close to the blurriness of that uh, furthest wave. Um, and I think that looks pretty good to me. So that's basically done. What you could do to sort of like mesh everything together is um, add another curves adjustment and maybe just add a little contrast or um, a slight fade and that will help sort of like bind all the different layers together. Um, and then what I would normally do is bring it into Lightroom and add some grain and maybe a few more little adjustments, but otherwise that's pretty much it. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.